Section B asks you to provide the maturity value of the same land bank bill. Now, when the investor buys a discount instrument, as we've said, you pay less than the maturity value. You take the nominal value minus the discount. However, the maturity value is going to be equal to the nominal value. So you don't have to do any calculation to determine the maturity value. The maturity value is simply equal to the nominal value, and in this case, therefore, it is 11 million rand. Now, the difference between the price that you pay for it, the consideration, and the nominal value, that is your discount. If the investor keeps this instrument until the maturity date, that will also be the income, the total income of this, for, for this instrument. So in this case, if you want to calculate the discount or the total income, remember we said it's the same as the discount. It is going to be the maturity value or the nominal value minus the consideration that you pay for it on the 25th of February. So 10 million, 915,000 rand, 466. Therefore, your total income or your discount is 84,534 rand. So the investor's total income is exactly equal to the discount. Now we're going to use this discount and the total income in the next question, section C, to calculate the annual yield.